uh, my friend recommended me to. Where are you from and what's your question? I'm 21, by the way. My girlfriend of two years, she actually cheated on me with my father. And it's kind of like a touchy subject, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, no, I said I'm like, sorry about that. Yeah, it, I mean, it is what it is. But it's kind of like a touchy subject. But I just figured out like a week and a half ago now, and she's pregnant. And it's kind of put me in a situation where I don't know how to, you know, maneuver or go about it because I'm, tw I'm only 21. My dad is in his 40s mm -hmm. and she's pregnant. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows who the father is. So it's kind of like a, a stressful situation. I don't know where to go. I don't know how to move about it. You know, just what steps to take forward to to uh, just handle the situation properly, I guess you could say. You're 21, you have your whole life ahead of you, and you seem like a, a handsome young man. I don't think you'll have any issues finding someone new. To get over the hurt and pain, I think that takes time and therapy. It, it, it's not even per se that. It's more per se like, mm -hmm. how do I move on and trust my father? Because, you know, he's still my father. He did a lot of things for me. Um, it's like, do I, do I mend that relationship with him or do I kind of like just you know i just don't know really what to do in that situation like say for example like a couple years down the road i have a kid do i let my father be a part of that kid's life you know i just don't really know how to move per se with that i think you can forgive someone in in your time and of course and then create boundaries and it doesn't have to be now or a month from now but i say with time and with healing i think it will get better and i don't think you'll be in a place where you completely trust him again but when you do get to that place, I say create the boundaries. Maybe that relationship will look different. And maybe when you get in a relationship again, maybe Pa Pa can't be around in the same way he was before, you know? Yeah. Okay. For sure. And I just wanted to say, because I see that they say I'm, I'm lying, but like, it's, I'm not lying. It's, I'm off my friend's it's, uh, TikTok, you know? I just came to her oh, house okay. because I don't really have anywhere to, to stay per se. Like, I'm, I'm trying to avoid him. Not to say I can't stay there, but I'm trying to avoid him and clear my mind. So I just kind of put myself out of that situation, but yeah. And I would say too, if I could also give any advice is like, I think the best revenge for anyone, but specifically men is to really level up across the board. You already seem like you're in shape, you're handsome, you know, get into the bag even more and becoming like a top tier type of guy. You know what I mean? Where the world is your oyster kind of thing. You could have tens every day if you want. You know what I mean? Not yeah. saying becoming a womanizer, but you know, really level up is what I'm saying. And heal, go to therapy for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I definitely probably gonna have to take that route for sure. Yeah, yeah. sorry about that, hon. No, I, I, thank you. I appreciate the advice. I'm definitely gonna take some time and, you know, try to apply that, so for sure. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that, I'm sorry. Heartbreak at, in, at 21 or 18 for a man will forever change them. When a man gets heartbroken at 21 and 18, and I'm not saying it makes it right, but I think that's when they change and they get out here and they kind of get, they shut off their emotions a bit. They don't show up in a relationship in the same way because of betrayal, you know? So if I could give any advice to him again, it would be definitely go to therapy, definitely heal, definitely create boundaries between you and your dad, and you can forgive him in your timing, but the best revenge I could give you is level up, King, because you're handsome, honey, okay? Make sure you have a super six pack, okay? Make sure you um, continue to go to the gym and get to the bag, okay? Because a man with money, a man who's in shape, a man who's um, smart and who can make good decisions, oh, you can have anyone, anyone, okay? You can have all the tens, any race, any creed, any background, okay? And educated, exactly. Okay, and God fearing, honey, next thing you know, Pops is gonna be asking like, well, what did you do? How can, can you help? Well, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's heartbreaking. His father doesn't respect him, yeah. He probably doesn't respect him because he's young, but in time, with time, oh, with time. Yes. But I want him to heal. I can't express this enough. So he doesn't walk into a new relationship feeling like he has to be guarded and he can't trust women. 
I don't want him to walk out. He, you know, months go by. He thinks he's over it. He's in a new relationship. Now he has trust issues. You can't trust these HOs, HOEs. We don't want that type of energy. You know what I mean? He didn't want to give his Instagram. He said he's not ready for that. Okay. He said he's not ready. And this is the thing. I don't know. I don't know why parents go against their, their children. Because one day, who's going to look after you? Like, why would you ever go against your child? One day, who's going to show up to the nursing home for you? Who's going to be there to wipe your butt and change your poo-poo and make sure you, you're taken care of, you know, and make sure you're washed properly? Your children. Your children, okay? Good. It's good to meet you. I moved back home with my parents like two years ago to have my son. And um, I consequently like broke up with the father of my kid and stuff. So I've been like trying to level up, you know, trying to like change my wardrobe, trying to like change my look. But I'm so stagnant because of my job. I've got the shittiest job on the planet. Literally, if I were to tell you my salary, you would probably laugh. I get literally under under six hundred dollars a month. That's about nine thousand rand in South African like currency so that's literally like nothing and um previously i did have a business and stuff but that sort of stopped because i had a son and because of covid i've been lucky enough to meet a really wonderful guy who's like a millionaire but he is sort of in a situationship with somebody else and he is all the way in israel and he kind of likes me he's got like literally he's if I were to take him a bit more seriously, or if he were to take me a bit more seriously, I think he would help me on my level up journey because he like has a mansion, you know, he used to live in Miami and he like, he's exposed me to a lot of the life that I want, but I'm like stagnant because of my job. And I don't know like how to move forward from that. I've like, I'm trying to get more in the digital space. So I've opened up a YouTube channel and all that, but I want to level up in terms of my income because I know that that will propel me to be able to, you know, look better, spend more on myself and stuff. So I'm kind of stuck. Like a part of me is telling me to quit the stupid job and just like go off on my own. But, you know, especially with the kid, I need to have a stable source of income. So help. Should I stay at this job for however much long earning this shitty salary or should I just take the risk and go off into my own thing? There's so many opportunities, but I'm not going to be able to venture into those opportunities being fully employed, especially in South Africa. The jobs here, you literally need to be there all day. Like now I'm up. It's like 3.30. I was going to have to be up at 4.30 anyway. I have to start work at 8 and I leave work around 6 p.m. So I have no time, none. Like if anybody's going to say, hey, you should be trying to do a side hustle, blah, blah, blah. You should be trying to do this with your extra time. I don't have time. On weekends, I'm with my kid. At night, I'm sleeping. I'm exhausted from that job. During the day, you can't really be busy with your own stuff, especially if you earn such a shitty salary. They sort of expect more from you. So I'm like kind of stuck because I really want to level up. I'm 32 years old. I don't want to be living with my parents for the rest of my days. You know what I mean? I only moved here for the purpose of having my son and having support, especially since I'm a single mom. But I mean, I'm very well spoken. I'm very well mannered. Like, you know, besides this look right now, I'm usually really well dressed. I know that I the potential to be the woman that like I see myself being but I'm so stagnant because of my job I really don't know what to do <laughs> well, Tesh, I, I have a lot of questions but the first one is have you been looking for other jobs yes. on your time off have you been applying for other positions or have you been looking and have you had any luck I haven't had any luck, but I have been looking. I'm not going to lie and say I look consistently every day, but literally, like, I've been putting my CV and stuff out there. So it does feel like maybe the actual nine to five thing is maybe what's putting me off as well. But Cash, what I'm hearing is you want to be an entrepreneur and start a business. And I get how, I'm not saying you can't do it as a mom, but 
you have to also think about your child. And I know with all businesses, for it to get off the ground, I know in our head, we're like, oh, the first two weeks or a month, I'm going to put my 100% into it and I'm going to become a millionaire. And I'm not saying you won't make money, but it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take time. So if you can look for a job that allows you to also work on your entrepreneurship, I would do both. And then my second question is you brought up a millionaire man that you are dating and you say he's in a situationship. Is yes. he married? What does situationship mean? He's not married. He's like, he's got a girlfriend, but like, he's always like, they've got like a whole bunch of issues. I never, ever want to be a part of it. You know, that's why I sort of didn't want to invest myself fully in him first especially since he's also facing a situationship. But I know he likes me. He like, you know, like we spend a lot of time together when he is in the country. But it's like, it's a bit of a catch because I know he's also like a bit, like he's still dealing with her. They've got a child together, so it's a bit difficult. And they've been in a relationship for about 40 years. He's much older than me, by the way. Well, they're married, so, my love. That He's married. Yeah, well, they're not formally married but i could say yes they are in a like relationship i guess yeah so i don't like like you know i don't want to want to focus more on my level up but i want to level up personally on my own i don't want to have to depend on no guy for no money you know no and it's nothing wrong with depending on a man but i don't want you to have to depend on a married man and granted i'm gonna put this out there i don't approve of that but you're a grown woman queen cash you can make your decisions and sometimes we have to learn through experience, you know? So I'm not here to tell anyone how to live their life, but I don't think that's appropriate. And it sounds like he's just using you for this. Okay. Set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I feel, I feel you. And I can respect that. And I feel like, yeah, that's... yeah and you And right now, if he's using you for this and you're telling me he's using you for this and you're saying your your job is only paying you 900 a month and you're living with your parents and you have a newborn baby on your hip that's unacceptable yeah, yeah. i don't approve it but that's still unacceptable <laughs> no i feel you i feel you completely the thing is like he is also financially supportive like a lot that's part of the reason why I am like sort of keeping him around, but I don't want that to be like my life, you know? So I get it. I get it that you don't approve of it. And I completely get it 100%. Like, yeah. It's a no. If a man comes into your life, I say any man for that matter, your life should go up, not go down. Your life yeah. should go up. It shouldn't stay stagnant. You shouldn't be in yeah. the same position on square one on the board 12 months from now and the only thing you get is you're pretty can we lay up together watch a movie and i'll give you a dollar to every so often and your life is still the same afterwards that's unacceptable you know what i mean yeah. so now it's time for queen cat you sound educated you sound smart and you sound wise enough to know better so i expect better from you you know Yes. It's time to really get on a good foot and look for a job. Like put as much okay. effort into it as you want to start this business. It's time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. I actually needed that. Like I needed that clarity. Yeah. Julie, I binge watch you all the time. I'm literally like I'm on a journey and I know that things are going to get better. And I think I'm definitely going to take heed when it comes to that guy. Like I'm definitely listening. <laughs> it's a no. It's a no. Millionaire, multi-millionaire, who's in a relationship, multi-million, in a relationship, but you're still stuck in a position where you're only making a 900 a month with a newborn baby. Even if you were making 900 a month without the newborn baby, but 900 a month a newborn baby and living with your parents and you're talking to a multi-millionaire unacceptable and all you get is, is a piece of eggplant that's it he shouldn't even be breathing on you honey and she seems very educated she seems like a smart person a smart woman she seems smart she doesn't seem 
you know, like ditzy or doesn't know or aloof, you know, she doesn't seem that way. She seems smart. Yeah, different culture, but she knows she seems sharp. Mm -hmm. Request to join the live, beautiful people. Yeah, a little bit of eggplant. That's it. He gets a happy ending and still leaves you at square one. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. I, I don't like to hear that from young women. Mm -mm. Unacceptable. <laughs>